World Health Organization and the United Nations AIDS Agency say women comprise 50% of people living with HIV around the world. In sub-Saharan Africa, 60% of people living with the virus are women. One of the challenges of the illness is to prevent pregnant women from infecting their child. And joining us is Dr. Fred Sawi. He is a physician who leads HIV research, prevention, and treatment in Kenya. Dr. Sawe, welcome to the program. Thank you very much. First off, let me ask you uh, your assessment in terms of um, the fight, uh, the fight against HIV/AIDS in Africa. W what do you think today? Are we making progress? Is there much to to do? What is your take on this? Yeah, thank you. Um, there's been actually tremendous progress in the fight against HIV in sub-Saharan Africa, especially with the advent of the President's Emergency Plan for AIDS Relief, PEFA, when it came into Africa starting early 2004. It was really a big shot in the arm in the fight against AIDS in terms of prevention, treatment, and um, and, uh, and care. So as we speak today, there are probably more than 5.2 million people that are receiving antiretroviral treatment. Um, thousands and hundreds of thousands of people have been saved from, uh, from dying. Now, as I mentioned earlier, one of the challenges is to prevent infected mother from transmitting the virus to their children. Now, you've been working on the PMCTM uh, program since uh, 2001. Tell, tell us about that. Yes, so um, prevention of mother to child uh, transmission of HIV infection is one of those sciences that has been proven. We have the technology and the knowledge that it shows it can be done and it can work. Whereas other prevention arms in HIV prevention still has a lot of bottlenecks and issues, PMTCT is a very clear science. And um, a lot of our uh, progress has been made in Africa towards reducing uh, those infections. For example, last year, about uh, 370,000 babies became infected as a result of um, mother-to-child transmission, and that is down from over 500,000 uh, a few years ago. So progress has been made. But what are the main components of this program, the PMTCT? So the main four components in PMTCT, first of all, is if we could keep women HIV negative, if we can prevent women from becoming infected. As you um, heard earlier, 60% of the people living with HIV in Africa are women. So we need to find ways to address structural problems that predispose women, whether they are cultural, whether they are socioeconomic, so that we can protect them, especially young girls that are more vulnerable to HIV infection uh, because of transgenerational sex. The other big contributor that has been neglected a little bit is access to family planning. If all women that are not intending to get pregnant had access to family planning, we could almost cut HIV infection, I mean, infections in children by more than a third. Um, and that is one secret that has been best kept, um, yet it's actually staring at us in the face and it requires very little intervention. The other very important area, again, is to identify women who are already pregnant and provide with them interventions so that they don't infect their babies. Because without intervention, up to 45% of women who are HIV positive will infect their children. Now, what are some of the tools that are used? Uh, I, I know that there is a treatment called Neverapin. I mean, what are some of the tools? So um, on that extreme end, the cutting edge is to provide triple therapy, give okay. three drugs to a pregnant woman, the same drugs that are used for treating people who are HIV positive. And if you give those three drugs, deliver by either cesarean section or vaginally, and she doesn't breastfeed, you can cut your transmission to less than 2%. But in Africa, because those regimens are expensive and complicated and the healthcare infrastructure cannot, we've actually found breaching interventions. One of them is to use a drug called cydofudine or SHT, which you can start early from 14 weeks and taken right through to delivery and then give the woman single dose nifirapine at birth. And what we are now doing is also providing prophylaxis to the baby because 50% of HIV transmissions occurs through breast milk. In Africa, it is not an option for most women not to breastfeed. They have to breastfeed for economic, 
or social cultural reasons. Mm -hmm. So we have to figure out how to make breastfeeding safer in Africa. Whereas in the West, it is easy just give the woman replacement feed, she doesn't have to breastfeed. It, the answer is not that simple in Africa. So recent uh, trials have actually shown that if you provide prophylaxis either to the mother or to the baby during mm -hmm. breastfeeding, you can actually cut transmissions um, uh, uh, during that time. Okay. So the trick is to provide counseling and testing to and, pregnant and women. And that will be the final word. Yeah. Thank you so much. Unfortunately, we ran out of time. Thank you for coming, Dr. Sawi. Thank you. And that was uh, Dr. Fred Sawe joining us. Uh, Vincent, back to you. Well, thank you very much, Lino, and uh, the good Dr. Sawe. And for your viewers, be sure to watch for Lino Mudue every Tuesday and Thursday for the latest health news in Africa right here on In Focus.